Father, thank you so much for the Keller Williams family and those uh, strategic alliances like um, Old World, um, Old Republic home warranties. Um, we thank you, God, for the lives that are represented here in this room today. We know that each person matters deeply to you. I pray that they would know that today. Lord, so many of them carry around weight on their shoulder that um, they were never intended to carry. And I pray today that they could cast their care on you because you care for them. Father, today um, I pray that you would speak um, clearly through Tony. Enable him to share with great boldness the words you've put in his heart to share. And um, Lord, as Ken mentioned, as thousands of agents will be coming to Austin for Mega Camp in a couple of weeks, we pray that you will truly inspire them to lead well in their businesses, um, to lead out of a heart that's connected to you, and to lead um, with character and integrity. And this is our prayer for all um, those who are represented here today as well. We thank you for all this in the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. Tony, you're on. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, my name is Tony DiCello. I'm with Keller Williams Realty International. I work specifically with MAPS Coaching. And um, Ken called me a couple months ago, and, and I was supposed to be here a couple months ago, and ended up not being able to make it. So I wanted to um, get an opportunity to talk to you today. He said, just talk what's on your heart. And um, what I really want to talk about is our God-given talents. And do we really take advantage of our God-given talents? Um, I, I coach, and I sold real estate in Boulder, Colorado for 25 years. I was a fairly successful realtor. I was in the top 10 internationally for Remax, so I know a little bit about selling. So I got involved in coaching. And coaching is the real, it was my real passion. And it was very interesting once I got into coaching that I knew it was my God-given talent. Because words come out of my mouth on coaching calls that only God can put in my mouth. So I think I just we all have these talents. In fact, I just came back from four days with John Maxwell uh, down in Florida. Um, there were over an eight-day period, there were a thousand people from the United States and approximately 50 other countries that spent uh, four days each, five groups of 500 with John on um, putting together a coaching program that we're going to be <coughs> certified through Maxwell to present his leadership stuff. And he calls it, he doesn't call it God-given talents, he says God gives us all potential. So I want, as we talk today, I want to talk a little bit about when I talk about talents, you can look at it as our God-given potential. So um, with Jeremy's help, um, I wanted to come up with a Bible verse to start off with, and it's Matthew um, 25, 14, and this is out of the New International Version that we use at church, and it's a larger print also. <laughs> so it's, it's the parable of the talents. Again, it will be like a man going on a journey who calls his servants and entrusted his property to them. To one he gave five talents of money, another two talents, and to another one talent, each according to his ability. Each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received the five talents went at once and put his money to work and gained five more. So also the one that had two talents gained two more. But the man who received one talent went off, dug a hole in the ground, and hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled accounts with them. The man who received the five talents brought him another five. The master said, you, en you entrusted me with five talents. See, I've gained you five more. The master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. 
you have been fulfilled, faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man who had two talents also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two talents. See, I've gained you two more. The master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful with few things. I will, give you, I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one talent came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and went out and hid your talent in the ground. See, here is what, hap what belongs to you. The master replied, you wicked, lazy servant. So you knew that I had harvested where I had not sown and gathered where I now had scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit with bankers so that when I returned, I would have received back with interest. Take the talent from him and give it to the one who had ten talents. For everyone who has the will be given more and he, that, and he will have an abundance Whoever does not have, even when he has, what he has will be taken from him. And throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be a weeping and gnashing of teeth. So basically, what it's talking about is we all have talents. We all have God-given talents. What do we do with them? And so that's what I want to talk a little bit about today. What do we do with our God-given talents? Do we multiply them? Do we go out and do a lot with them? Or do we put them in the ground? And are we willing to step outside sometimes of our comfort zone to have our talents expanded? So what I want to talk about today is we're all given talents. How do we use them? We use our talents for three things. One, we use our talents to praise and adore God and Jesus Christ. We use them to help others. And then lastly, we use our talents to help ourselves. God's given us talents. I believe the first thing we need to do is thank God every day for the talents he's given us. And um, a couple things that I do, I carry what is known as a gratitude stone. And every day I touch that gratitude stone I think about my God-given talents, and I thank God for my talents. I thank Him for the sacrifice of His Son, Jesus Christ, to be my Savior. I thank God for all the things He's given me in my life. I am grateful for the talents He's given me, and I'm grateful that He's given me the ability to take my talents to as high a level as I possibly could. All of it comes from God. I didn't do any of this. I just discovered what it was and then went out and did something with it. So I think that's one thing. And then I get this idea from John Wooden. Um, I carry a cross. Everywhere I go, I carry a cross. And it just reminds me that God is with me always. Um, John Wooden, I mean, for those that don't know, John Wooden was the winningest basketball coach in the history of basketball. He won more NCAA championships. In fact, he won 10 years in a row. He just died, just, um, what, about three months ago, at the age of 99, just short of his 100th birthday. And speaking of John Maxwell, John Wooden was one of John Maxwell's mentors. And so I just carry the cross all the time, and it reminds me of the fact that, again, I've got talents, I need to be grateful for them, and I need to share them with people.